She recently delivered a tearful speech on Capitol Hill encouraging Republicans and Democrats in Congress to pass a new version of the Violence Against Women Act. And Angelina Jolie was spotted jetting out of Washington, D.C. with her eldest daughter Zahara, 17, on Wednesday. The mother-daughter duo walked through the terminal hand-in-hand -hand with the security team in tow. Angelina cut a chic figure in a black and white coat that she layered over a plain black dress. The 46-year-old actress accessorized with a pair of diamond stud earrings and slipped her feet into a pair of tan high heels. Her brunette hair was parted to one side and styled in soft curls and she wore her signature Kate Tayflick. The changeling star carried her essentials in an off-white leather tote bag. Zahara let her bright blue braided hair pull focus by rocking a plain black dress and a brown coat to the airport. The 17-year-old completed the look with some classic black Converse All-Star sneakers and a bright orange purse. Angelina and Zahara looked eager to return to their Los Angeles, California home after spending a few days in the capital. She shares Zahara, as well as daughters Shiloh, 15, Vivian, 13, and sons Maddox, 20, Pax, 18, and Knox, 13, with ex-husband Brad Pitt. On Wednesday, the Maleficent star visited Capitol Hill to help a bipartisan group of senators roll out a new version of the Violence Against Women Act. She got emotional when addressing a packed press conference and shamed Congress silence on the matter as they've not reauthorized the bill in nearly a decade. Most of all, I want to acknowledge most of all, I want to acknowledge the children who are terrified and suffering at this moment, she said, her voice cracking and the many people for whom this legislation comes too late. The women who have suffered through this system with little or no support, they still carry the pain and trauma of their abuse, the Alyssa actress continue. The young adults who have survived abuse and emerged stronger not because of the child protective system, but despite it. And the women and children who have died, who could have been saved, she said. Jolie, who's no stranger to Washington or political causes and even met with Environmental Protection Agency head Michael Regan before her appointment on Capitol Hill fussed at lawmakers for not reauthorizing the bill since 2013. The reason that many people struggle to leave abusive situations is that they've been made to feel worthless, she said. When there's silence from a Congress too busy to renew the Violence Against Women Act for a decade, it reinforces that sense of worthlessness. You think I guess my abuser's right. I guess I'm not worth very much, the actress continued. That's why passing this law is one of the most important votes U.S. senators will cast this year, she told the lawmakers.